and we will begin on go. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, take it away. All right, on my end of the stream, uh, Lord started a little bit early. Yeah, that's fine though. It's only like a second or so. Interesting to see to me that every runner so far has played either in English or Japanese. No love for like Italian or French or German <laughs> or Korean even. It used to save a little bit of time, and I think there's like some dialogue in sewers where there's a very slight difference with English. That doesn't really matter much. Recon taking a death early in escape. That's unfortunate. It goes for pipe strat the second time. And actually gets it. So that will mitigate some of the loss. Yeah, but like, all I know about the language is that it just makes like a dialogue for sewers shorter if you're just not in America, if you're not in English. American. All right, and Lord's out of there. Uh, is it just me, or is there no audio for Lord? Lord does not have audio. I see. Then I will turn off Recon's. So far, smooth sailing for Blood. Everything what you expect to see. I still kind of have to get used to the game looking like this. I'm very much used yeah. to this too. It like looks so crisp. Yeah. But that does come with the great cost of only being able to move in so many directions. Yeah. <laughs> Eight directions for our PS4. Well, yeah, PS4 and PS5. Which is why many people I still prefer the older PS2 versions. There's also the PS3 version, which has the infamous punch glitch. I don't think that's a thing in PS4 anymore. Yeah, I don't think so either, but I could it's be wrong. It's because of the way the games are emulated. But the games do look kind of nice. Yeah, it's worth pointing out that Blood got like a 57. As yeah, 57. About as that's good as you good. see. I mean, you, you can't get 56, but that's crazy. Nah, this is really good for just the race. There's a funny meme with 57 with him. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, the load times do have some discrepancies between the game versions. And the load at the end of uh, Escape isn't really there for the PS4, PS5 versions. Because, you know, new console, a lot of the loads are faster. So that is part of the time save. There are actually a couple of loads, I'm not sure which, that are actually faster on PS2 compared to the newer versions. But uh, overall, the newer versions do save a couple of minutes uh, over the PS2 version. And usually uh, time is added to the runner with the newer versions. I think it's like a minute and a half for PS4 versus PS2. But in this race, I guess it doesn't really matter because they're playing on PS4, PS5, which I think are roughly identical. So we won't do really need to uh, edit the times at all here. But yeah, there's, there's checks in place so that everyone can still have a fair race, regardless of their hardware. Unless you have a 90k PS2, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the rain, Mortis. Yo, Mortis. Good to see you. Right, let's see how... Oh, gets the low one. All right, that's that barely worked. Yeah, you can clip into the uh, the water, the, well, the, the water, the dark. You get that really low. If you get it a little, a little, little bit too low, you can still hit the water, but then you fall down anyway. It's very unfortunate when that happens. And yeah, it can be very scary there. Oh, yeah, I reckon actually taking a death there. However, Blood doesn't get doesn't get turned to Jack because he missed time to jump there. Now there's still a spider there. However. Yeah, Blood opts to not you know, try it for the last spider, which I That's think is fair. correct. It's it's very weird to do it with anything other than the first spider. Nobody really knows the lineup. It's it's probably still possible with that other spider there, but it's just annoying. Nobody really knows how it works, so Blood just decides to uh, take the L and go for the Dexter chase normally. 
Now let's see how the second try here goes for Recon. This is a pretty big deal since both of these runners uh, have proven to be really good at the game. They have both uh, 101, 102. So something like just this can already make a huge difference in the race going forward. Yeah. All right, Recon does look like he gets it a second time. He's not quite out of the woods yet. But if he gets this cleanly now, he'll roughly be even with uh, Lord, I think. We'll see how the rest goes. Okay. Lord's just finishing it up. As Recon is now about to go for the hover. And well, if he gets this hover right, yeah, it's a bit of a weird angle. But for a really high hover, actually. Or almost oh, oh, like against oh, it. Alright. <laughs> okay, that was yeah, scary. He was so hard, he, was, he almost like, bonked on the tower there. But gets it. And that mitigates a lot of the time loss he had for failing one attempt there. So yeah, board with a slight lead. But nothing too major. Yeah, looks like they also go for different strats here, getting into the right tomb. That's interesting. I've never seen that strat from Blord before. Yeah, that's the, the old strat. That's the one I used to do. But it's recon... also a lot easier. It is slower, but it's definitely easier. Yeah. Uh, you, see, you see it paying off here for Blood since Recon takes another death there. Although it was mostly because he just filled hover, not he did land here correctly. Yeah. yeah tombscones. Tombstone to <laughs> Did I just say tombscones? <laughs> tombscones going well for Blood. <laughs> Getting a 704 Praxis, which is considering he lost a minute, still very respectable for our race. Yeah. yeah. Recon taking this safe. I think he's a little bit spooked of his hovers right now. There's also the fact that the platform you stand on there has like a little bit of an edge. It's very easy to get like awkward juggle movement where you just kind of hover a little bit so you can't actually jump anymore. And by the time you realize you can't jump, you're moving forward enough, forward far enough that you actually just fall off and die. And you're very silly. Okay. So yeah, the second phase goes for Blord. Third hit, the fourth hit, has a pretty good lineup on the fifth, and doesn't end up getting it. Ooh. Bomb ends up just exploding pretty quickly. This recon is roughly one phase behind him now. is just about finishing on Praxis, gets an 843, which is one of the better Praxis we've seen, honestly. Like, yeah. Praxis has really been a point where, like, a lot of people have already gotten one or two fairly big deaths by the time they get the Praxis. Even though Blood did mess up the Praxis chase skip, this is honestly pretty good. I might be biased because I'm not too used to seeing the Dex Dexter cutscene. cutscene. Dexter Chase Skip. God, I hate saying Dexter Chase Skip. Oh. <laughs> it's just a mouth. It's just a weird thing. But like, yeah. every time I say it, I'm like, wait, like. <laughs> yeah, am I saying it right? Yeah. Alright, Recon's just about finishing up practice as well. And there's about a minute behind, uh, about 50 seconds, I'm gonna say. Which is a big deal in a race like this. I do want to emphasize that. Yeah. I think especially for runners of this caliber, that, that's really one of the biggest points. However, it, the game 
still is Jack Chu. Yeah. I expect any big differences to happen in like sewers or the like, but if one of them just like takes a death, at, like destroy tower or something, the game just, just it's just completely different all over. This might also be a race where the actual strats people go for might end up making the difference as well. Because say Blood just plays it safe. Like I don't know how Blood plays. I actually haven't seen him play uh, before. I think. But let's just say Blood plays everything really safely. Goes for safe strats. Like nothing like shaft skip. Just goes for mostly safe things. And recon goes for all like the risky stuff. Goes for like the little death warps, all the small stuff. Goes for shaft skip. Saves like five, ten seconds here and there. Stuff like that might end up mattering in a, in a race like this. Yeah. Uh, they're not actually in a call with, uh, with each other together, so that might also have an influence on what strats they go for and what strats they think they should go for. Because they probably think, oh, what if uh, what if the other one's on a really good pace? What if they did this thing? At the end of the day, it's still a race against another human being. They're not just racing against the clock. But yeah, Lord's still going strong. Lost a few seconds uh, here, but... We're still well in the lead. Oh, almost gets the same thing happened last race. Where, uh, I think it was Strots that just landed up right on top of the Hellcat. But Lord barely manages to avoid that. Which is nice because it makes this movement a lot easier if you don't have to bother the guards. Yeah. Oh, doesn't quite get the hover. But, but then gets the red afters. Alright. I think Recon. Yeah, Recon's struggling a little bit. Struggling a little bit with um, rescue friends. Yeah, he just goes for his own lineup. Like, he just roll jumps and then craps the jet board. Whatever you have to do to make it consistent for you. And ends up getting there in the end. Now we have Sue's coming up. I feel obliged to mention that according to Blood Stream, he loves chicken nuggets. The way you know. Yeah, he stands in this spot, just so he can uh, spin and shoot here. There's two spawn points close to where Jack is, but there's also the third one over there, where the missile head is currently. You want as many of them as possible to spawn close to where Jack is over there. But yeah, Blood gets pretty unlucky and gets a lot of spawns on the other side. Which costs you some time and maybe more importantly, it often ends up costing you a little bit of ammo as well. Yeah. Although I think Blood is managing his ammo really well. 46 out of this is really good. He didn't end up uh, just spinning and shooting where he didn't need to. Yeah, I think uh, Blood is around two minutes ahead. Like maybe one minute forty ish, something like that. Yeah, that's a fair estimate. I think that Recon is just entering the part that Blood left. And this is one of the few points in the, in the run where you can actually take a little bit of a breather. You don't need to rush this. You can really like just like sit up straight, you know, stretch your hands a little bit. Since you do have to wait for the other three to follow you down the elevator here. Yeah. Honestly, really enjoy defense aimless for that reason. It's kind of like a breather. Like, especially especially in mid-game when, like, everything's so hectic. Mm -hmm. Having that, like, breather is very, like, nice to have. Ooh, does end up taking a hit there, but he's fine. Alright. Oh, that looked really smooth. Got yeah. Of ammo, but... Yeah, that's a wasteland move right there. It's honestly kind of crazy how well the all the different percent warps work in the Jack and Dexter games, well, particularly two and three. 
Because yeah. Just thinking about it, you, you skip all the way to Mars Tomb. Um, normally, when you play the game, before you get to this point in the game, the sewers are not drained yet. There's still a lot of water in them. But with the game, the game's coded. Uh, as soon as you do Mars Tomb skip, the game just assumes you've done everything up to that point, and you get all the guns, all the gun upgrades, and so forth, uh, that you would have normally gotten up until that point. But that includes stuff like the fact that there's no water in the sewers. Because if you go to the first sewers mission uh, early on in the game, you will notice that the sewers are completely flooded, and you can't actually stand here where Jack is right now would be flooded. And just imagine what the speedrun would be like if, like, they were just like the other two were still walking the water. You know what I mean? Yeah, that'd There's be a very interesting. Things, uh, we're pretty fortunate to have uh, the game work out as it does. It's just yeah. like one mission like that, and something like that might already make the entire route that we do impossible, right? Yeah, exactly. Really cool how this game works sometimes. Really interesting stuff like that. Yeah, both of them dropping to one health at the end. Let's see if Recon gets a nice fight here. Ends up just kind of ripping it. It does cost a lot of ammo. I'm a little bit concerned for Recon's ammo here. Yes, this is fast, but it does mean that we will end up with less ammo at the end, which is important for the next mission. <gasps> oh, hits the battlehead there. Takes the death. Yeah, that's well, really that unfortunate. Really like, that's yeah, like also the worst spot, because now you just go all the way back to the beginning oh, of the series. That's the worst spot in the game to die, straight up. Because this is a really long mission, if not the longest mission in the game. So yeah, now Blood has a really comfortable lead. Yeah. That's a big deal. Recon's gonna have to work really hard to claw his way back into this. It is kind of funny to think about though, how like, like early game has like literally everything. It has like really hard, really hard yeah. tricks, and then also one of the longest missions in the game. Yeah, I, I said it just before sewers. Like, I don't expect the mistake to happen, but it's still Jack too, right? Like, if you take yeah. a death there at the end of sewers, you're gonna lose four minutes. Oh, he also has no blue ammo, so he's gonna have to do some improvisation right here. I, I'm assuming he's just gonna use yellow ammo and just... Like, probably grab some ammo next. Just... Yeah, I think that's the best he can do. Just like, when you kill the bomb bots, they also drop quite a bit of ammo. I think you should wait for that ammo and just use that to kill the second or third bomb bot. But it is unfortunate. Time, Lord's finishing up bomb bot as we speak. I had plenty of ammo left. Just spins all over the thing. That was a really quick last bomb bot. Exactly how you want to do it. Just spin as much as you can. The trick there is really to get kind of stuck inside the robot itself. Because oftentimes, if you kind of end up hitting the legs and you spin, uh, the bomb bot will often push you away a bit. And that'll make it a lot harder to kill it quickly because if you then punch back, you'll hit the leg, and yeah. the leg hits you again, you get hit back again, and that easily ends up costing you a couple seconds each time you kill a bomb bot. Yep, it happens, we go. That's also part of the risk with the way we do sewers. When we do sewers, is uh, the first thing that Jinx blows up uh, in the sewers, you end up just eating the hit because it's faster. You can just opt not to take the hit, but it'll, it makes uh, the next room a lot harder because you have to kill the two metal heads in the back of that room really quickly. And taking the hit just makes it a lot easier to, to do this. But the fact that we do this does mean that we only have three health for the rest of the sewers. And it's very easy to just like take a hit at any of the parts where you have to fight metal heads. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's definitely not an easy mission. Uh, 
Yeah, I think most of the runners are watching the stream, like on a side monitor or something. So I yeah. assume that both runners know uh, what's going on with the other's race. So I imagine Lord is pretty comfy right now. He does go for the lap two skips, which does not surprise me. Oh, goes for a neat little lineup. Uh, he does a little hop there. Yeah, the one thing that can be tricky about the class two race skips and doing them this way is that sometimes the the thing in front of the zoomer just gets up, get, ends up getting stuck, and you end up just staring at like Dax the moving sideways against it. That's that's oh a no, that's that's unfortunate. Yeah, that was a really sketchy uh, hop there. Barely ended up making it over. No. It's gonna take him, uh, or cost him a minute or so, I wanna say. Still a big lead, but. Yeah, giving Recon a bit of a chance to catch up a bit. Yeah. yeah this is another lineup I, uh, I don't see, the one that Lloyd just did. You can get that one really quickly. Yeah, if any of you have seen uh, Uji's record, he does a similar lineup. And he just instantly goes for it. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, Blood had a pretty suspicious lineup there. Just yeah. Ends up breaking it off. Yeah, this is the part where I really wonder if Lord knows what's going on. Because if he does, I. I think that this influences his decision to not go for skips there. Hey, for once, it wasn't actually me jinxing it. <laughs> I want this to be on record. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the other races can be very scary, but Blood managed to avoid the little guy in front of them there. It's very important to watch the mini map to see where the other races are. Usually around lap three or four, uh, three or four, assuming you're doing all the all the skips, that's when uh, the other races are going to appear in front of you. So you really need to be careful that you don't crash into any other races, which has happened before in other people's run. All right, so now Blood is about a full mission ahead, but this should still be around like I want to say. Three and a half minutes, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, probably around then. And now we got um, mid game coming up with um, Errol Race, Lurkers, all that jazz. And I think it happened in those sections. I know um, Lord will probably go for um, Ringless. That's a nice way to do that. Yeah, this is what I mentioned also last race. With this specific zoomer, you can just do the zoomer hops while moving forward. Just a neat little thing to know. Shoot, yeah, he goes for this little. Oh, okay. Doesn't get it. Yeah, there's a death hop we can do now. Ends up going for the reset warp instead. And I like barely lost any time because he just right away saw that and just went back. Oh yeah, tries to save the Peacemaker Hover. This one does cost you a little bit more time. But I think the Peacemaker Hover saves you like 14 seconds. A part of my brain told, told me it was 14 seconds. I don't know if it actually is. But you can see here because you have to drive all the way around. Actually, hold on, there's no way it's 14 seconds. It's oh, and Recon took a death in class two. Yeah, I heard that. I think it was also on the end of lap one, right? Uh, I wasn't. I just saw him restart the race. I'm like, oh, frick. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it takes a nice of them, zoom yeah. Yeah. Just... Absolutely. Oh, and another death from Recon. Yep. Mid air collision.
Yeah, I think Regan's definitely feeling the pressure to just try everything he can. Which is why yeah. he played uh, Klaus 2 a little bit risky just now. That makes sense. I feel, like, I feel like one big skill with races is not like cracking under pressure in these situations. Yeah. Honestly, the hardest part for me is knowing when I shoot and shouldn't go for like the, the jump in the middle. So when to judge when you can or cannot make it. And when you just go straight. Just say, alright, I'll take it. I'll just take the boost there. It's fine. Oh! Almost hits the lamp there. That was really close. If you hit the lamp there, you just immediately explode. More often than not. Luckily, you yeah, can't have the composure to know that. You could break in time there. Yeah, as you were saying, Lord's indeed going for ringless in the meantime. As long as you don't hit any rings uh, after after the very start, you can end up finishing the race without hitting uh, well, any other than you've hit already. However, because you have to hit the rings in order, if you ha end up hitting any ring after uh, after the point where you start doing ringless, you instantly lose the mission. So you either have to do all the rings, or you just have to skip all of them, if you decide to skip them at one point. And that's because the end trigger isn't actually a ring, it's just being in front of the stadium. And there's a pretty specific route you can do. Uh, doing this optimally is slightly faster than actually doing it with rings, though it's not that, that much of a difference. And a little bit, generally speaking, a little bit more difficult to do it ringless. There's a bit more ways you can... Uh, lose time. But Lord gets a 156, which is pretty great. I would be very happy with a 156. Yeah. Follow the labs. We'll take you right there. Rubik's class just skips. They're kind of free though, but they're also spooky. But they're free. <laughs> but they're also spooky. <laughs> and hey, if anything, I like people going for them because it means people learn them. It's exciting to commentate. <laughs> I have ulterior motives. Recon does get the peacemaker hover. As Blood's having some issues getting a life seed. But manages to clean it up. Rikon goes for a really early pause there, and it doesn't load. Yeah, I think he was too far away from from the entrance of the building for it to load. Yeah. Looks like uh Blord with the life seed pretty clean, except for the mist hovers. And in his efforts to slowly creep back closer to Blord, it looks like Blord's lead's only slightly increasing instead. Oh, Recon, yeah, you can get kind of stuck in those boxes. Opts to take all the ammo here, which is interesting. Fair though. I think it's because uh, he was afraid that his ammo management was completely messed up from failing sewers earlier, which is, is true, honestly. If you mess up sewers like that, you're gonna end up with uh, very low yellow ammo, very low blue ammo, and it means that when you do defense Samos in the forest, uh, you're going to only pick up blue ammo pretty much. And you want to use that mission to grab some purple ammo. So th this all comes into play. Like, ammo management it's, it's a pretty big deal in this game. But I'm still a little bit surprised, to be honest, that he would spend like a good five seconds getting all of that ammo. Yeah, there's always a chance. Like we said earlier, the game's it's still Jack 2. And we're still only like halfway through the run. Yeah. There's, there's still weapons factory. There's still, I mean, crew itself as well. It's still underpool. Usually, nothing much goes wrong. In the next couple missions, I would say. Yeah, as long as you you know what you're doing, you should be fine. 
And that's until we get to uh, the three missions with lurkers and then life seed, uh, life seed eggs, and destroy tower. I'd say that's like the next point where things can really change. Like recon was just flying over there. <laughs> Got a giant boost yeah. up near. Yeah, it's nice that we see both perspectives, both doing it with and without rings. It's, it is, I find it kind of, honestly kind of surprising that ringless ends up being several seconds faster. It's, it just looks like the rings are a lot faster to me. Ooh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say recon might have to do ringless now, but I managed to snatch that ring anyway. It's like Lord is well informed of the new strat here. Yeah, I think just about everyone knows about this now. At the very least, people who've been watching the stream, you know, just saying. If you want to learn about the new strats, it's definitely good to watch other people uh, play the game. Yeah, one of the best things to do in speedrunning in general is always watching other people run the game. Like, like what, like one game in particular is Jack One. That game is all about movement. So if you're like just doing it yourself without watching, that game can get like, you know, very like different. Your movement will be like very different. And you'll lose a couple of seconds here, a couple of seconds there, and then you're losing a bunch of time. Yeah. And this game is also sneaky. very similar. Yeah. Movement is definitely a sneaky little time loss. You don't really often see comparisons of just you know, like someone jetboarding side to side with someone else, but the difference is honestly huge. Mm -hmm. and that's really yeah. like when I used to compare some of my, my own old times, like I have a 106 back when the world record was like a 102. Like four minutes, like, hold on, three minutes of like my four minutes of time save was just movement. It wasn't even like failing underboard skip or whatever because I, I did do that on TV. It was just the fact that other people just were better at moving in a straight line when they were side flipping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of hard to uh, side flip in a straight line, harder than you might think. And it's doing just like slightly better hovers here and there. It's doing the smaller strats, like doing the hover going to bomb bots. It's... Uh, the little things really do add up. Yeah, exactly. That's something that's very easy to overlook, as uh, especially a new runner, where you're just thinking, Oh, I have to do this strat, I have to do this strat, because that's going to save me minutes. Whereas mm -hmm. you might lose many more minutes just by uh, having worse movement than most people. And also on the opposite side, there's also beginners who like just think, okay, let me just get through the game. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, they're getting like pretty good times, but they can they could definitely like get way better times if they'd spend the time mm -hmm. like learning more of the movement, learning more like of those little time saves. There's definitely different styles of speedrunners mm -hmm. when it comes to that. It also ties into the whole thing where some people end up uh, doing way too many resets. I've been guilty of this myself in the past. Where Everyone's been guilty of it. <laughs> or you just get stuck in uh, like escape hell. Because escape is a pretty rough split in this game. Like it's one of the hardest splits I would I would arguably say. So yeah. It's not uncommon where you just end up being stuck in the first mission in the game for like an hour because you just keep messing up pipe strat or something, right? It's pretty common. Oh, it looks like Blood actually didn't get the load trigger for the platform there. You need to stick to the left side here. Yeah, it gets it now. Uh, Blood is ahead by a good, I want to say, five minutes. Uh, or maybe a bit less, maybe like four minutes. But yeah, Blood is in a pretty significant lead. Yeah, he's in a pretty comfy, comfy spot right now. Pretty much is like one full mission ahead. Just did um, Protect Samos. And Recon is just heading there. The big difference maker being the fact that Recon had a death at the very end of the escape. Uh, escape. Sewers. Yeah, that's definitely one way to go about it, Jorah. Some people might agree, some people might disagree with, uh, with that approach. Some people definitely like to just go through it and just make sure that they can do everything once. You just make sure they actually like know the route, get through it, get you know accustomed to the game itself, and only then later on start really grinding the individual things that they might have issues with. 
And then at other times when it just doesn't work out, you say, this video game is cringe because speedrunning is <laughs> rough sometimes. Like, <laughs> I don't want to call you out, Rico. I'm sorry about that. But that's just, it's, it's all part of the process of speedrunning, right? Yeah. When, when has someone, like, I don't think there's ever been a speedrunner that's just been like, I hate this game on a bad day, you know? Or at least something close to that. Yeah. Happens. Like, in order to be able to hate it, you need to, like, really know all its ins and outs. Exactly. And it's like... And it's because we love the game as well. Yeah, it's like, it's like one of those, like, sayings, keep your friends close and your enemies close. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is the punch board on blood screen I was talking about earlier. Yeah, if Lord goes through these three missions, two missions, as you say, cleanly, then there will be one less chance for Recon to catch up. This is definitely one of the points to look out for. Destroy eggs went well for Lord, though. Oh yeah, Recon didn't crash, luckily. <laughs> I'm not about to jinx him. <laughs> this isn't really a spot where the game likes to crash anyway. Hey, stranger things have happened. And I'm absolutely jinxing it now, so I'll stop talking about it. <laughs> yeah, if anyone has ever seen a crash here, then do tell me. Because I don't think I've seen someone crash on uh, Protect Samus before. Now you're going in like the direction of like, if someone's seen a crash here, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Blood tries to go for the one in the back from here, which most people don't do. Does he keep going for it from here? He's not getting it. You can like kind of spin and then immediately shoot. I'm not sure if you can see it properly. But allowing, like, doing that. Oh no, he oh, punches no. and falls down. Oh, yeah, he has to restart mission. That makes, yeah, he has to do draft shame now. I don't think That's you can save it just by doing restart mission. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a significant time loss. That's like one minute back in Recon's favor. Yeah, this race is. Far from over. I do like the strat that Blob was going for though. I, I've never really seen that. I know it's a thing where if you spin and then press R1, the gun kind of uh, lines up to where the gun is at the moment of the spin. So if you do it really early in the spin, you get a shot that's pretty far to the left. Whereas if you do it later in the spin, the shot's a bit further to the right. Since you don't have complete control over where uh, Jack aims the gun, you kind of have to get a feel for it. It's something that's very hard to explain with words. But you can kind of explain, yeah, you can kind of see what Bolt's doing here. Yeah. And he's using that to aim for uh, the little lever in the end. I think that if you do this optimally, and you're really good at it, this, this probably is faster than the strat most people do. Where you just kind of jam Jack behind the first lever in order to aim on this one. Yeah, but it is a bit harder, obviously, since you're... You're sniping yeah. it from a, a longer distance. Yeah, it looks very precise. Yeah. That looks like Recon's going for the movement on jet board, but he doesn't quite get the hover here. What do you mean? He does lose a little bit of time on the movement here. Since that's one of the big reasons that it is even a couple seconds faster, but it's only faster if you get like all the little hovers and stuff. Otherwise, you just end up losing time. Kind of one of the interesting things about Jack too, the hover uh, jet board versus zoomer movement. Yeah, definitely. So at full speed, the zoomers are actually quite a bit faster than the jet board. But the jet board is the advantage of having a faster initial speed because you can just punch board instead of like 
going through the process of pressing triangle or like slowly climbing on the zoom because that takes more time than I think. And of course, the jetboard allows you to cut corners really well. And yeah. Kind of have to drive in a straight line to uh, reach the max speeds. Also, like uh, like hovers and stuff can like allow you to cut corners even better. Like mm -hmm. for like that peacemaker hover. Yeah, that's yeah. A perfect example. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. Recon. <laughs> Manages to back that up. Doesn't take a death there. That's really the big thing. Yeah, that would be terrible if he yeah. if he takes a death here. <gasps> oh, okay. Lord, I thought he was like gonna fall to his death there. Yeah, it takes it a little bit safe here, which is understandable. So he is the leading time here. Yeah, they're actually on the same mission for the first time in a while now. Like, yes, Lord is just finishing up. It still has a pretty good lead, but... And now he's out. <laughs> yeah. It does go to show that Econ has caught up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Assuming he doesn't die here, he'll be a lot closer because... Wait. Is that how it works? Oh. oh. Do you not have to do Drive of Shame if you use Reslaw Warp? I... I feel like I've heard of that, like, one okay, time. Really? I've... I've... I feel like I've tried this before and it didn't work. Is that a thing? That's huge. I feel like I've heard Lord mention that like once or twice in the stream, but like... Whoa, hold on. I was like sure that he had to do Drive of Shame now. Yeah. But apparently, if you are about to die, but you use uh, the restart mission instead, you don't lose the safe stage of this mission. So you That's don't really have interesting. Actually... Yeah. Wow. I was like convinced that. That was not a thing. GG on the meeting, finish, Jack, speedruns, aka G3. Yeah. Well, that's a really useful backup to know, because the big thing about dying in Destroy Tower is usually it happens in the gem boarding section at the end, where you just kind of yeah. slowly fall to your death. So that, I feel like for... A, game changing, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like for jet, if you get up to the jet board movement, like, it doesn't really save any time. But, like, if you die, like, around where, where Lord, Lord died, I guess it's, 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 like, a bit faster to just restart. Yeah. Because anyway, you're going back to the beginning, but... Yeah, that's a good point. Like, if you get it at, like, the very end, it's not worth it, but... If you get a fairly early death, like, anything yeah, but also... the computer room, pretty much... Yeah, yeah, then yeah. I guess it's worth it. No, that's because, like, you once, you, the... once you finish jet board, you know, you, you get the checkpoint. Yeah. So at that point, it's just, you know, not worth it. It's probably only really worth it before the computer room. That's probably also why this is uh, kind of rare, because usually people die afterwards. Mm -hmm. But that makes a lot of sense. Still, good on Lord for actually knowing this. Little bits of knowledge like that really help out in races like this. This isn't really something that matters for normal uh, runs, right? Since I'm pretty sure that both of these runners will just immediately reset if they die there, right? <laughs> Yeah, probably. Unless they're on like insane pace. Yeah. Right, let's see how Recon does this. Yeah. Takes it safe. Oh, yeah, he yeah, has a little bonk there. Just gets off the jet board. Nobody panic. You can take a hit. Yeah, he just does his own foot. This is slow, but... Oh, my... No way! No! He didn't oh, even that's... get the lich grab. Oh, that sucks. That's really unfortunate. Oh, that yeah, now it's just like... Balls to the wall, just go for it. <laughs> yeah. This is why I think everyone dreads this mission in a race. Mm -hmm. that, that could be the decider, really. I'm not quite ready to call it yet. 
So it looks like Blood's actually going for class one skips. Let's go, Blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry for my excellent commentary. <laughs> Moving on, food is slow, jetboard fast. I think the gap between them didn't really change that much. It's probably still, I want to say, four and a half minutes. Yeah, there's still locusts between us though. Maybe it's like five minutes. This race should all be in Blood's hands, unless really strange things happen. Yeah, this is how class 1 skips should look. You want to save an extra boost, and then make sure that you actually land close to the next couple boosts. And then hopefully you can hit both boosts, so you're ready for the next round already. And that way, they're, they are pretty fast. Yeah, not like this. This is a bad example, but obviously since this is the last one, it doesn't really matter. You just want to get over there. Yeah. The G3, you're forgetting the so basically <laughs> part. Yes. And hey, like every time, like they're in the end game, we just talk about hard locks for five minutes. <laughs> like, you know, oh, that's a Zuma hop. Oh, jetboard movement fast. Zuma does early, exist. Early, early game is just this game is hard. Mid game is just this game is annoying. And oh, then another, another big and one, then, animal like, management. Pain. You can end up like talking about animal management for like ten minutes. True. Really, yeah. <laughs> really, it only matters for like what, like half a minute, like plus or minus. It's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like show you all my secrets. <laughs> I really like uh, Blord strats for this part. Yeah. Now I'm currently looking at Blord's stream. He's currently three minutes behind his PB, so I don't think he can PB anymore. For the people who are keeping track of that. But it's still an insanely good run, especially for a race. Yeah, this is one of the best times so far. I think the best time is still Hedgerong. She had like a, a 58 something when she completely destroyed me. <laughs> <laughs> I, had like, I had like a 117, it wasn't even close. is looking to maybe be the second best time. I think we also had uh, our two 101s before. Yeah, uh, Blur did get a 101 his last race. Yeah. There's a lot going on at the same time. But like seeing all like the little unlisted strats, I guess, like all the little things people do differently is. Yeah. I, I know I keep saying this a lot, but it's, it's really a big deal and one of the reasons I really love commentating like this. Yeah, this and game is really, really fun to watch because of the differences in strats that people yeah. will use. Like because of all the intricacies, especially for like jet bolt movement, there are so many like little things that you can do different. Like someone does a does like a short hop here, or someone does an extra side flip there. And it really ends up making everything look just a little bit different. Also, did you see that look of fly on Recon screen? <laughs> and uh, did you see how close it was to to yeah. falling into the water? He's like literally on the on like the the gate. The fence. Uh, did it just get a fifty nine? I will take your word for it. Here's another thing, like, Blood goes for this lineup in a weird way. He kind of starts very far to the left and then kind of curls towards uh, the left more. Because most people just take this straight. And it's, it's not like this is really how you'd learn new things, because a lot of this stuff you probably wouldn't come up with yourself. Like, yeah. You're just stuck with, like, a certain lineup that just doesn't really work for you. It's, it can be really nice to just look at other people. 
Yeah, what Steve Jobs used to say, good artists copy, great artists steal. <laughs> Although I do think there's a lot of merit in... Oh, okay. A lot of song. I do think there's a lot of merit in finding your own lineups. Especially when you're just starting out. Like, when it doesn't really matter as much if you lose a couple seconds here and there. Mm-hmm. Be like an to class one. Oh yeah, it's not a thing that's fun on PS4. Like, there's a lot of weird crap. Flash oh yeah, speaking of graphical glitches. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's just a thing on PS4, isn't it? I just happens. Yeah. Like, it just happens. Every man. <laughs> Good game. Great optimization. Is that like technically a good thing? Because like, with the lines, can't you just like kind of? triangulate where they must be, so you know which way you have to turn. <laughs> Isn't that like useful information? <laughs> I mean, it could be. It, I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. It's kind of bottom of the barrel, but it's interesting. Oh, it's a useful PAL thing. It doesn't happen on NTSC. Okay. That surprises me. Why would that even be different? Maybe because I feel like maybe it could be like a switch from like 50 hertz to 60 hertz, maybe or something like that. I don't know. That's a theory, like a conspiracy yeah, theory the, type thing. Pal 60 is also a thing. Is it another thing on Pal 60 even? I mean, he's probably on 60. But it could be like yeah, maybe they ported do. the Pal version from. Most people do play on 60 hertz. I, think. I mean, it is a clear goes, advantage. It also goes for the older method. Of doing uh, just stacking peacemaker shots. Yeah, there's gonna be the cool visual glitch as well, which is a lot more intense. But I always think it's pretty funny looking. Yeah. Like it's such a glaring oversight. Like this, I like, kind of see how you would miss that. But I mean, surely someone must have played through the game at some point and got to the final boss and was like, "Wait, this isn't right." <laughs> You'd be surprised at this game. <laughs> I mean, I think people didn't realize it, but it was just like, eh, who cares? <laughs> it could have been like a time constraint thing. Yeah. Right, in the meantime, Recon's getting away from the palace after having finished class one. And Lord is at everyone's favorite mission the lab match. And Zuma was spinning, did you see that? Oh, wait, how did that Hellcat blow up? Jeez. Dang, that was such a combo. And Zuma hop. Oh, it's a tad low. I think he's fine. It was a bit on the low side. Okay, Recon does get it. Thoughts of just taking his time on the blood mash. There's nothing you can really do to speed this up. It's always roughly the same process. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's no like, there's not even like RNG involved. I mean, obviously where they spawn in, but like how they spawn in. Yeah, exactly. The ones you get, like, whether they're green or gold or red, it's always the same, but where they pop up is different every time. All right, well, there's not a lot of luck here. We'd love to see it. He's now heading over to the port. Where? You kind of lean the camera towards the door to make sure that the city deloads as you go down here. And then you get this partially loaded in state. And if you move close enough to the door there, you could see it for like a very brief second there. But that's when the entire port loads in. You have to do it in this way because if you load it in while you're still in that room, you're just pretty much stuck in that room because the wall there is solid. So it's, it's very convenient that you can actually just hover while you're loading in the, the wall. 
I mean, you just go straight to the end and go to the second part of the board. Wait, there is RNG, OG? That's interesting. Yeah, I guess I've never really done like uh, a statistical analysis of it. Yeah. And I don't think everyone really wants to, but that is interesting to know. Ooh, does Recon keep that hover? Does that work? Yeah, it's a, a bit far pretty... to the... Yeah, far to the right. It's a bit far to the right, but... He seemed pretty confident going in. So I assume this is some kind of lineup that he just does. We'll see where he ends up. Oh, just ends up being short. He's gonna have to do the Abavance here. Uh, oh no, yeah, hold on. I thought he was in the previous room. Wow, okay, it did work. Oh, yeah, I and thought, then... yeah. I thought he was on the pipe in the other room before this. It looks very similar. Alright, so yeah, that does work apparently. Okay. Right, meanwhile, Blood just finished up on the port 2 cleanly. And I think I can now safely call that this race uh, is won by Blood. And the port is really the last big thing where things can change. But he still has to clean it out. And see what kind of time he can get. He actually got a pretty big gold in the port. He saved 30 seconds. Well, not on his gold, of course, but he saved 30 seconds on his PB and got a gold. Yeah, I know around around this, like he had like a bit of controller issues. Mm. Like his, I, he might have. I, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it could have been like his. He was like using a wired controller, and then like the wire fell out or something like that. I don't know, that's just, that's speculation, but like, you know, it's probably something similar to that. Well, I mean, I assume it wasn't a wire, because he's on the PS5, right? No, um, Blood's <laughs> on PS4. Oh, right, Blood's on PS4, yeah, Rick Ray on PS5. Yeah, but he did have a couple of disconnects, making the game pause. Yeah, Blood, interestingly, not opting for the shaft skip. Which, I think I'm, I think I'm agreeing that chaps skip is just a little bit too risky for a race, mm -hmm. unless you like really think that it's close. Like say Recon had a really clean run, and he's like, you know, like 20 seconds behind, and maybe Blood would have gone for it. I think he would have. But now it's just really only something you can lose time to. Yeah, it's one of those tricks like it's good to have in your arsenal, you know. Chaps skip is not free Rubix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, it kind of is. It's, it's just, yeah, I mean, it, it honestly kind of is. I'm, I'm it's like, free I'm if you like, don't I'm mess it up. Like, with the stuff that I call free, the shaft skip is honestly pretty free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be a hypocrite. <laughs> well, yeah, to be fair, like, the, the setup for shaft skip is a lot better than it used to be. I think we can all agree, yeah. To that at least. But hey, I mean, the same goes for class 2 skips, right? Like a year ago, I'm not sure if anyone would have said, oh, class 2 skips are free. No, they suck. <laughs> they really do with the old method. Also going for cruise skip. And just does the five blaster shots. I think you only need to do four. Yeah, also goes for this strat. Oh, this strat is more common than I thought. Yeah, I usually I just been... see just like a double jump into the spin. Yeah, I've been convinced by Rubik's that the other way of doing it is vastly superior, and I completely agree. You can't just press like X circle down right R1. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I do that. I remember TJ came to my chat one time and just told me, like, yeah, just <laughs> jump, yeah. jump, spin, uh, down right, you're good. Oh, you don't even need to jump twice. It's just literally X circle, down yeah, yeah, right, yeah. one. But it is safer, I, I feel, to do yeah. the double jump. Like, I, I just tried it yesterday, like, three times. I'm like, dude, this is free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's so free.
look going for some interesting jet board movement here. Doing a nice little hover. Basically, all movement to the construction site for Lord. Does he go for the restart warp there? No, he doesn't. Yeah, you can restart warp there. I think it's slightly faster than just driving. I do imagine I'll go for this next one there. Yeah, it does. I can't tell if Lord's stream is lagging or if the game is just kind of lagging. I think it's no, stream. I, I think it's a stream a little bit. Sometimes he does have a bit of lag spike. Yeah, please don't curse anyone hard locking. Like, even I'm like holding myself in this game. This right. Yeah. <laughs> I've only said the word hard lock like three times now. But so far, so good. I'm totally jinxing it. This is like the part in the race, but like most of it. Like it's construction site and metal hat mash. This is like the point for it to happen. Please. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> Saved. You can't ban the wood hard lock. <laughs> do, do you want me to not do commentary? <laughs> what else am I supposed to talk about in the late game? Wait, no way, no! <laughs> oh my god! Come on! No! <laughs> no! God damn it. Recon crashed! Oh no. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Recon. It, it wasn't me, it was chat. It was chat. <laughs> Blame chat. Blame it on them. Say my name like that. <sighs> yeah, is that a PS5 thing? That's a kind of a weird spot. I didn't usually yeah. see that on PS2. Something went wrong. The game got confused. I can't wait until like the game just punishes me and like hard locks me three times in a row when I race. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna open up. You're gonna like do metal and mash, cr uh, hard lock, then right after hard lock, then right after hard lock. <laughs> oh, Lord, getting uh, the five piece make shots off on the uh, crew, a crew core. Yeah, and this is a lovely visual glitch. Yeah, it's very cool. Ah, uh, yeah, recons, uh, recons. Calling it a day, realizing the board has won. Just as the board is about to finish up. And it's gonna be a 103 25. That's a good run. Yeah. Saving a lot of time in the end game, really. Like, he was behind like three minutes, but in the end of the run, only like a minute and a half. He makes yeah. some nice golds in there, too. Sure, the blood's happy about that. Yeah, GG's to both. Yeah, GG's. So, both play really well. The, the, the really the big thing is that Recon had a a death at the end of uh, sewers. Because yeah, that was the that, one big. It would have been really thing. close. Like I know that's 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 just saying that, but really without the sewers, this would have been really close. So they both played well. They both made some mistakes here and there. A couple deaths. But yeah, I think there's a high chance that these will face each other again. They're yeah. Definitely at like a similar skill level. But today, Lord proved to be more consistent and finishes with a 103. Also, Recon, I, we may or may not have absolutely jinxed you just now. <laughs> we. <But it> wasn't... <laughs> we. <laughs> I take no responsibility. Hey, GG's to you both. This game. Yeah, GG's. GG's. It's Jack's rematch.
Yeah, uh, you see that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give the biggest tip for anyone who ever is in this Tony. Never read the chat. <laughs> ever. <laughs> never read the chat. <laughs> yes. Oh, were you reading the chat too? It was on the side. I looked oh over. I looked over and someone was like, oh, wait, Jordan's two minutes ahead. I'm like, oh, wait, really? And then I die to the <laughs> metal head falling. Oh, oh in the um, in sewers. That's yeah. unlucky. It wasn't me, Trots. Hold on. And you, you yeah, you, chat. <laughs> you crashed my game. You. No, no. Yeah, that's a that's a point actually. How do we recover from that? I didn't know if I if I just go straight to defend the stadium or not because technically I've not done any of the other stuff, have I? Because I only uh, have I only have saves for this defend the stadium after that, unless I go right back to explore palace. Yeah, I, I think what you did is the only thing you can do. I mean, it messes up the timing a little bit, but you didn't, like, skip anything major. Like, it's not like this. Like, it's different from after class one, right? Because that, the fact that the guards changed yeah. was very major there. So I think that was fine. You missions, I don't have missions to select. I don't have any secrets on my uh, um, Jack 2 anymore. Because all my files are... Uh, what's it called? Yeah, all my well, files that was, that are... Is true. Like, reset. There is an entire yeah. sheet with the things that we all should do. Like, it's all been figured out beforehand. I don't know off the top of my head, though. Unless, unless I debug, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the only way you can, if you have all the saves, is you have to debug. Or you have to have two memory cards. I run on PS5, I don't think that helps. Ah, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah that's what okay. I have to I'll keep, I'll keep that in mind uh, for next time. But, uh, GG's, Jordan. God, I got shafted. <laughs> Honestly, that, that was a shamble. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh... Yeah, I'm sure you What's two worse? will play each other again later on. Yeah. Just because What's of how worse? the TVs are. Everything I did that run, by the way, I practiced beforehand. Everything. Oh, every, like, major yeah. thing I practiced beforehand, and then in the run, I just completely failed it. There's just something... This is your uh, tournament debut, right? Jack Speedrun's debut? It is, yes. Yeah. What so. a showing. It's it's <laughs> always different once you get on Jack Speedrun's. It's got them nerve wracking. <laughs> I'm not used to sitting here in silence, just like dying. Mm -hmm. But you know, oh, that was fun though. GG's Jordan. GG's GG's. Yeah, I just definitely throughout that whole run. I will admit, <laughs> I could have swore that you were ahead of me the whole time because the amount of hovers that I dropped today is actually <laughs> sinful. <laughs> Did you hard lock at all? By the way, I saw the chance and I went, no, Jordan, <laughs> and then and then uh, I don't know. Uh, no, I think was... there was a few times my game stuttered, but like not really anything major. No. Yeah, um, no hard lock. And then, and then I fully hard lock. And I'm like, oh, yeah. cringe. We did have a big no moment when Damn. you uh, like almost died in Destroy Tower. And then I did die. Oh yes, I ate my X <laughs> input. Yeah. And I didn't a... do a boost. <laughs> Many of us, myself included, didn't actually know that you can save it by just restarting there. Me neither, as long honestly. as you don't die by you restart, yeah, you can save that thankfully. But it's not great if uh, it's the next section. But that section, you're perfectly clear, I guess, to go for it if you got it. <laughs> yeah. But GG's again, <laughs> Recon, and hopefully we will play again very soon. Yeah. Also, just yeah. to update uh, the viewers for the rest uh, of tonight, I'm not sure if we're gonna have a host, so we might reschedule some of the races to. Uh, to tomorrow or Wednesday. I wouldn't have to like have G three have the final word on that though. Unless I host them, but I don't have anything to host. You know, I don't have any like what y'all y'all do. Yeah, so, so it looks like um, we will have to cut stream here. Um... I'll work out with Flair when we do would do my rates because the next race will be me versus Flair. Is Flair able to do it? Uh, I'm currently talking to Flair. They're saying okay. they wanted to do it on Wednesday. Wednesday.